All right, back to these changes for superannuation. And, you know, most of the callers and emailers that have had so far have indicated it's got to affect more than 4% of the population. I don't believe it. And Paul, who rang from Canberra, uh, wanted to talk about aspects of the budget papers that he has checked out and aspects of transition to retirement that he has looked at closely. Now, Paul, just reiterate in very simple terms exactly what you think this means, that it affects a lot more than just 4% of the population, right? Well, it's potentially. Any, anyone between 55 and 65 currently on a transition to, transition to retirement income stream, yep. which is tax-exempt, will from next year be hit with uh, 15%, regardless of any caps or anything. But that would therefore, correct me if I'm wrong here, those changes would therefore affect everyone. Correct. That's my point. Okay. The, any, the, you know, that's, that's my point, that I think it's been... Uh, Misconstrued, or maybe they don't understand it correctly. Uh, I've seen Kelly O'Dwyer on um, on uh, Q and A the other night, and I've seen different different people talk about it. But yeah. uh, I think it's been misconstrued. Okay, all right. We've we've communicated all of this as you have done to Peter Switzer from Switzer.com.au. I've got Peter on the line right now. Hi there, Pete. Hi, Chris. I made the point at the beginning of the program that this is a much heavier anvil around the neck of Malcolm Turnbull than what they probably. Uh, would have thought because this is uh, certainly part of the questions that they get at the beginning of the press conference today and did do yesterday as well. So from what Paul is saying, he's he's combining the information we've got from the budget plus the transition to retirement tax arrangements. What do you think and who do you think this impacts on? Not just 4% of the population? No, you're absolutely right. It's it's more than 4%. Now, I've got to say, Chris, I'm very biased here, you know that, because I taught Scott Morrison economics, and um, I was the patrol captain at North Bondi with Malcolm Turnbull. But the reality is I've got to, I've got to tell you the truth, that on super, there's a few mistakes being made. And uh, Paul is absolutely right. If you're on a transition to retirement pension uh, and, you're, uh, and your earnings are currently taxed at the best rate of all, zero percent yeah if these changes go through you will go to 15 percent right now i don't know how many people in australia are on transition to retirement but i i am um i know steve price is because i talked him into it um there's a whole lot of people um and they will all be paying 15 percent not zero percent now on top of that remember this currently for our concessional cap, that's the amount of money we put in either through you know, our boss putting, you know, 9.5% yep. in or any extra you put through salary sacrifice. Yep. The caps now are 30000 for under 50s and 35000 for over 50. Now, if that, if that comes down to 25 for everybody, everybody's affected. Yeah, big time. You, you can't put... But every... Our earner in the country who is putting a, a concessional contribution in, and that's over 10 million in the workforce, they've all been affected by that change. So this has that's been bungled. This, this has been bungled, Peter. Big time. Unfortunately, wow. big time. Okay. Peter Switzer, thank you very much for that. Pleasure. All right. Question without notice for Peter Switzer and Paul. Spot on the money, mate. Thanks, mate. I, I thought I was. So I, I think, Chris, seriously, I'm, I'm serious about this. This could be an election deciding issue. Oh, without doubt. I, I think it. I think it was even before what you have you have exposed here, and what Peter mm-hmm. Switzer has uh, substantiated that you have exposed. I thought it was before that. I thought it was work choices. Like it's even more than that now that you have pointed out what you've done. Yeah, Chris. Chris, can I just say this simply? Ask this to your listeners. Imagine if the GST or the tax rate for everyone in Australia suddenly went up 15%. Yeah. And that's effectively what we're talking about here. It, that's exactly what we're talking about. Yeah. Okay. Exactly what we're talking about. All right, Paul, thank you very much for that. Thanks, mate.